Well, it's been 200 years since the founding of the Zulu Nation. What's that got to do with Brooklyn? Well, our next guest, the chairman of the board of the International African Arts Festival, can explain. Plus, he'll tell us all about this year's lineup. We want to welcome back Dr. Shegun Shabaka. Nice to see you again. Thank you very much. Appreciate you having me again. Again. <laughs> and we're delighted to welcome one of the people in this weekend's lineup, vocalist Tulani Kennard. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank In just you. a few minutes, Tulani will actually sing for us, too. But first, <laughs> let's hear about the festival. Yes. This is the 45th anniversary. Right, 45 I years in. I cannot believe that. One of the longest running, oldest, continual running cultural arts festivals mm -hmm. in Brooklyn, probably all of New York. How has the organization been able to stay around for so long? I think we've um, had a continuous group of people who have been committed, dedicated to the institution, and we've been able to continuously overturn and reinvent ourselves to uh, do what we have to do to keep the uh, festival alive and developing. Mm -hmm. We've had our ups and downs through the years, but mm -hmm. we just seem to come out on top. Absolutely, and one of those things is I hear some never-before-seen features of the festival. Can you give us a little sneak teaser on what some of those might be? Well, we have some uh, great, great artists. Um, uh, you know, we have uh, a lineup that I think is one of the best we've had uh, over the whole development of the festival. And uh, usually Friday is a slow day, but I think Friday is going to be slamming. Not this mm. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Not Who do we got this, on Friday? Uh, no. We have, uh, um, it's co-sponsored or co-hosted by uh, Brooklyn Ball President Eric Adams. And uh, we have Forces of Nature, Dance Troupe, one of the best in the country. Yes, Very no. diverse and dynamic group under mm -hmm. Brother Abdel Salam and uh, Delhi Husband. Uh, and then we have uh, Emily Michelle, Haitian artist that's a very, very dynamic performer and very uh, conscious artist. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, up and coming artist Victor Cruz. We have uh, Sister Tuli Dumakati mm -hmm. and Takosa. A lot of people may not know, but Tuli Dumakati, because she's in co was in costume, mm -hmm. she was one of the stars of Lion King. Oh, yes. wow. Uh -huh. And she has a voice on her mm, uh, that <laughs> might break windows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and um, also, we have a brother uh, that just came in from um, Guadalupe. Mm. And he is a very popular Guadalupean artist mm. known across mm -hmm. the Francophone world by the name of Gaylou. Mm. And I just spoke with him, so that's a solid. He's going to have a live band with him. Very cool. Excellent. Yeah. And then Saturday, there's a Miss Tulani Kennard mm. feature. Yes. But something tells me if you show up Friday that she might be in the house then as oh, well. she might. And you might get to see her before Saturday <laughs> night. So how did you get involved in the festival this well, year? Well, the festival is really a homecoming for me. Mm -hmm. uh, 45 years, that's more than a lifetime. We're approaching two lifetimes times in terms of the duration of the span of the festival. Mm -hmm. It's been about, I used to perform like every other year, yeah. years and years ago. Right. Wow. So I would say it's been about 20 years since I've actually been on the roster of festival. Yeah. But referring to your comment, I know a lot of the artists, so I am in just stellar company. Yeah. And it is an enjoyable time. It is one of the few places where you find an intergenerational mm -hmm. Uh, gathering and children come. My children grew up yeah. coming to festival and it's just an experience to be able to participate uh, conducting commerce so to speak with all of the artists who come and vend and mm -hmm. you know I'm a product of many of those artists mm -hmm. from hair to jewelry you know people who have been around for 30 40 years yeah. just making what they make and doing what they do so this is a particular special kind of gathering in the country. 
It yeah, was one of the oldest festivals in the country. That's what I sort of wanted to get at for a <clears> second, <throat> give you guys a little victory lap, because this is no small thing to pull off and really keep it going. You said there are up years and down years, and this certainly looks like an up year. I hope we keep going on that trajectory. But mm -hmm. this stands out nationally on the map, because a lot of localities, they have a little thing in the park, or they try to pull something together once mm -hmm. a week. But you're pulling people from the diaspora all over the world, mm -hmm. bringing yes. them to Brooklyn. Yes, um, we probably, I know we're the oldest, longest running uh, festival in the country. There is maybe one or two. Right. Uh, I know the Watts Festival may be a little older, but it's mm -hmm. not as, they're in up and down right. period too, but they're not as uh, dynamic as and robust one. as yeah. the festival right now. But they started out very, very strong and they continue to produce a festival every year. But in terms of uh, continuous and longest running, because our festival has run uh, four to five days for a number of decades now. And this was and before it was even cool to bring in the African heritage yeah. or to acknowledge your Africanness. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and um, we've, of course, done that, expanded on that. And we've even had one festival that lasted 10 days. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> we won't do that again. What year was that? What year was that? That year 50, <laughs> let's just do 10 days all the way through. We could do the whole month. Well, really, you guys do work all throughout the year, yes, right? I think yes, a lot of folks do. don't know you guys plan all sorts of events. Can you tell us about some of those? Yes, thank you for that question. Mm -hmm. We do have a year-round program. We work in conjunction with other groups. Uh, to do other festivals. Uh, we've done the Spirit and Harmony Festival in Queens with Black Spectrum Theater. We've done uh, Peace in the East Festival with uh, Soul Tigers and Brooklyn Community mm. Organization. Um, we do forums all year round. We do Kwanzaa programs. Uh, we support people and we really try to expand what we do mm -hmm. and work with other people, not just in the city but around the country to produce similar events because we think uh, promoting uh, African culture, history is very, very important in our community. Well, okay. we're going to promote some of the culture mm -hmm. right now when we ask you to make your way to the microphone over <laughs> there. And we thank uh, Dr. Shabaka and also let you guys know that it's what? IAAFestival.org. Mm -hmm. And right now, to take us home, the lovely sounds of Tilani Kanar. Wherever I am, that's where God is. Wherever I am, abundant light flows within. Wherever I am, spirit guides my life. I give God the praise as I walk in the light. To give me unconditional love, no one to care, and no one to trust. My light had grown dim, the enemy had on within. Whatever light I had had become so very slim. But then this small voice blew up. So very big inside, it let me know that love is my divine birthright. And now I'm happy, I have joy and sweet bliss wherever I am. That's where God is. Oh, oh, oh. Until today, shadows of doubt and fear stalk my life.